California hates rich people. Why would you leave California to move to St. George, Utah? I don't know, but it must be on your mind if you clicked on this video. Idaho is too red and too cold. Texas is too red and Nevada is just too stoned. In this video, we are going to make the case for moving to St. George, Utah. We are going to cover cost of living, quality of life, housing affordability, and lack of traffic, and all other reasons why people are leaving California. I'll tell you a few reasons why I decided to leave Chicago. Having lived in what I thought was one of the best cities in the world, I can totally relate to a lot of our clients. They're reluctant to leaving their whole life and all that they know behind, including their family and friends. It's easy to leave a place that you do not like, and I will share the full story about that in a link up here. We've posted a video about that on our channel previously, if you're curious to know. Having lived in Chicago over 14 years ago, a lot of these issues are exponentially worse now. My friends that still live in a city even have an expression that is true for the times. Come to Chicago for the food and stay because you got murdered. It is unfortunate that such a beautiful city with endless things to do claimed the reputation as a murder capital. Cost of living, housing expenses, daily commute and safety concerns significantly reduce quality of life in Chicago. I'm curious to know if you're watching this video in California, how relatable are these concerns to you? When I lived in Chicago, the thought of having a family someday or raising a child seemed simply impossible because in order to afford to survive in a city, every waking hour had to be spent working. And it seriously did not matter how many part-time jobs I had in addition to my full-time job. Okay, living in St. George, Utah is nothing like living in Chicago or LA. Both cities are great place to be. If you happen to be connected to a large trust fund or just happen to be independently wealthy. However, if you're a regular American that goes to work every day, the benefits of living in LA or Chicago are quickly diminished as all you get to do is show up to work and it's your office that you get to see every day. I realized that spinning the hamster wheel prevented me from having any meaningful relationships, including having a family of my own. All right, in this part of the video, I'd like to give you guys something that's relatable, something that you could actually go and check out yourself. We like to do these calculators. If you've seen any of our previous videos on this channel, I'm sure you have seen us use tools like this before. This one is very simple. It's just on rantcafe.com and we will use public data in order to determine what life would be like have you continued to make a similar salary to what you would make in LA. A lot of our clients relocate into this area and continue to work remotely or retire. So in a lot of cases, that income could be maintained. So it suggests an automatic figure of $50,000. Unfortunately, I don't think that $50,000 is going to sustain a family anywhere in the US in 2024. So we'll plug in a figure of 100,000 if you're moving from Los Angeles, California to St. George, Utah on a $100,000 salary. Now this, this website conveniently pools data across several important metrics. So if you're looking to move here, or perhaps you're moving from somewhere else outside of LA, California, you know, people move here from all over the world. You can just plug in the cities, get the same data. This isn't just my opinion. I wanted to share this with you. So it's a visual representation of what your money could buy in St. George, Utah, or rather what it would cost to live here. So if we look at the comparison, in order to maintain Los Angeles, California standard of living in St. George, Utah, your salary would need to be 72,000. So if you were making 100,000 in LA, cost of living is about 28% lower here overall. Cost of housing is about 37% lower. So if we look at housing, an average monthly rent in Los Angeles, California is going to be $2,600 where it's only 1700 in St. George, Utah. Now, that number could be a little bit skewed because I find that average monthly rent right now is probably closer to that $2,000 figure, but the cost of purchasing is actually significantly lower here versus LA. And we'll get into a little bit more about that further in this video. Your monthly utilities are about 10% lower than what you would spend in LA. Food is about 12% lower. Healthcare is about 17% lower. Cost of transportation is 16% lower. Goods and services, 10% lower. I find that overall, that is a fair assessment. You can expect to save about 30% on your everyday household expenses, including like literally just, just the cost to survive here in St. George, Utah. 
compared to living in LA, California. We have clients that have moved here from literally all over the world, and they have noticed that they actually get to do a lot more living here in Southern Utah. Lower cost of living allows for our clients to do a lot more of what they actually enjoy doing versus spending that time at work trying to keep up with living expenses. Southern Utah is a safe place to live, raise a family, or retire. If you enjoy the outdoor lifestyle, hiking, biking, golfing, off-roading, boating, then St. George is a great place to live as people come here from all over the world just to enjoy these things. Housing and affordability. Average home in St. George, Utah is nearly 48% less expensive than it is to purchase a similar home in Los Angeles, California, and it doesn't stop there. Your property taxes here are about a third of what you would expect to pay in LA. Cost of utilities is nearly 10% lower. Food and groceries, 12% lower. Healthcare is sitting at 17% lower. And St. George is known for having some of the best healthcare providers in the country, and that is why it is a top retirement destination. Hey, it's Nick and Michandra Stopchin, and we post videos like this every week. So if it's your first time to the channel and you want to learn everything about St. George, Utah, be sure to tap the subscribe button and notification bell right next to it. That way you get notified every time we post a new video. Our team and us have been helping people all over the world buy and sell homes right here in St. George, Utah and the surrounding areas. And we look forward to connecting with you. So give us a call or shoot us a text since we have no way of getting a hold of you. I wanted to share this with you guys if we go to bestplaces.com again a resource that you can utilize on your own this gives us some of the 2024 housing highlights between st george utah and los angeles california what is also interesting is that median home age in southern utah is just 23 years old compared to 58 in la average for the us is 42 so if we look at the median home cost st george is currently at 485,000, while los angeles california is 912,000. so nearly a 50 percent difference if we look at rents average rent in st george utah is 1780 dollars LA is $3,040. There's not a ton of vacant housing. We're at just 1.5%. So if you're looking to rent or buy here, it is definitely still a seller's market and rentals could be tough to come by because so many people are moving here. But you know who to reach. Give us a call, shoot us a text. We'd be happy to find a perfect place for you. Lack of traffic. You won't find yourself sitting bumper to bumper on the freeway or at any point, even during rush hour like you would in Los Angeles, California. On average, it takes about 10 to 15 minutes to get from one end of St. George to the other. I used to commute from Cedar City 50 miles north for about six years, and I don't know how I did it or how anyone can handle living day in and day out with traffic and long commutes. Think of all the other things that you could be doing and getting done instead of sitting in traffic during these lengthy commutes. Our city is growing and becoming more diverse. You will see American flags and some Trump flags flying here. Politically, Southern Utah is red across the board, which allows us to have no nonsense state laws and regulations, including full support for the Second Amendment rights and constitutional carry. St. George, Utah attracts predominantly conservative people that value traditional American values. Our population is a pretty good blend where everybody gets along. All the local, state, and city governments are Republican across the board. If we uh, take a look at bestplaces.net, we can see some of the highlights regarding voting here. It looks like registered voters in LA are 335% more likely to be registered as Democrats versus registered voters in St. George. Registered voters in St. George are 191% less likely to be registered as Democrats than compared to the rest of the United States. So if we look at St. George, Utah, our breakdown is 16.5% Democrat, 68.4% Republican, 15% Independent. LA, California is 71% Democrats, 22% Republican, 5.8% Independent. According to bestplaces.net, St. George, Utah is one of the safest places that you can live in America in 2024. Sadly, we can't say the same about anywhere in California. You will not see many homeless people here, graffiti on the streets or anywhere, and the local law enforcement is still allowed to do their jobs. Over 80% of Southern Utah population is religious, predominantly LDS or Christian faith. Regardless of what you believe or not believe in, you will not be treated any differently here 
and know that most of your neighbors will hold themselves to high Christian values. Of course, regardless of where you move from, you will encounter all kinds of people. We work with a wide variety of people that move to St. George, Utah from literally all parts of the world. They all have different beliefs, different ethnicities, different backgrounds, and different occupations. What a boring world it would be if we were all the same. All of our clients find themselves welcomed and accepted in this community, despite the fact that many call us and ask us if not being Mormon is going to make living in Southern Utah challenging. Hello friends, I hope that you're enjoying this video as much as we enjoyed making it. There's truly only one thing that we enjoy more than making these videos, and that's hearing from you. So if you're watching this video and you're thinking that St. George might be a great place for you, or maybe you're thinking about relocating somewhere else in Southern Utah, or the entire state of Utah for that matter, please reach out to us. We would absolutely love to be of service to you. Our contact information is in the description below this video, as well as a link to reserve a time in our calendar for an obligation-free meeting so we can chat and see if we could be a good fit for each other and if Southern Utah is right for you. Without further ado, let's get back to this video. Going back to bestplaces.net, I just wanted to share this snapshot with you guys because it is really cool to have this data. So it looks like people living in Los Angeles are 24.5% less likely to have a religious affiliation than people living in St. George, Utah. And just some of the highlights, 78% of all of St. George, Utah happen to be a religious population. Only 53.4% of people in Los Angeles, California are religious compared to 49.4 from a nationwide perspective. Church of Jesus Christ, 70.4% in Southern Utah. I think that number is actually a little bit higher, 1.6% in LA. The breakdown of all other religions, there you have it. Have you visited St. George, Utah other than just driving through? Leave a comment in the section below and let us know when you visited and how your experience was. All right, folks, I made a comment that California hates rich people at the beginning of this video, and I wanted you to know that it is a based comment and I brought the receipts. As many of you already know, Southern California has the highest personal income tax out of anywhere in the country. According to the data that I have, it is nearly 13.3% for Southern California, which is absolutely the highest in the country. Now, since then, like there's, there's more updates to this. California income tax to increase for 2024. The payroll tax expansions increase the state top income tax bracket from 13.3%, like as if that wasn't bad enough, to 14.4%. The new 14.4% tax rate applies to income over a million dollars that exceeds other noteworthy high tax states by far. New Yorkers making more than $25 million are only taxed 10.9%. This graph from taxfoundation.org gives us a pretty good, accurate representation. It is old data, unfortunately. I wish I had a newer map. But as of 2017 fiscal tax year, Utah was number 21. Being high on this bracket is not a good thing. It means you pay the most amount of taxes. Utah is ranked number 21 with collections of just $1,167 per capita. And California is ranked number five at $2,137. Let's take a look at taxes by comparison. So if you're curious to research this on your own, you could go to taxfoundation.org to get some of these comprehensive figures. So how does Utah collect taxes? Utah tax code has a flat 4.5% individual income tax rate. Utah has 4.55% corporate income tax rate. Utah also has 6.1% state sales tax rate, an average combined state and local sales tax rate of 7.25%. Utah has 0.47% effective property tax rate on owner occupied housing value. Now we've done a breakdown of this in some of our other videos where you do get a significant tax savings on an owner occupied property. For instance, if you bought a house in St. George, Utah on a personal primary residence, you would save nearly 50% on your taxes based on the assessment. And I could give you more of a breakdown on that. So let's take a look at some of these breakdowns. Individual taxes, top individual income tax rate is just 4.55% from a state perspective in Utah. 
state local individual income tax collections per capita is $1,986 as of 2023. So Utah is ranked number 10 from a national perspective. State and local tax burden equals to about 12.1%, which is significantly less in California, ranked 21. Business taxes are at 4.55%. State business tax climate index ranking is number eight. Sale tax in Utah is 6.1%. Average local sales tax rate is 1.15. Property taxes on average about 0.47%, ranked 43. And state and local property tax collections per capita is about $1,200. So it is absolutely no brainer if you're not a fan of paying money to fund broken political systems in the state of California, living in Southern Utah might just be a much better option for you. Recently, Washington, Utah was nominated as a top city in America to start a small business. If you're thinking about moving here and starting a small business, now is your sign. St. George is a great place to raise a family. It is a medium-sized city that lacks all of the problems of a big city, but it is still big enough to give some great options from K through 12 and college education. I want to make the case again of why people are moving from California to St. George. Beautiful landscapes and mountains, year-round outdoor lifestyle, hiking, biking, and golfing, and an easier overall sense of living. Thank you for sticking around until the end of this video. Do you feel that St. George, Utah is a great fit for you? Are you ready for the next step? It's really hard for us to answer that question. I mean, surely we don't have the ocean and all the attractions that the state of California offers. But as of lately, I feel like the compelling argument is really 10 to 1 in favor of Southern Utah. If you feel the same way, we would absolutely love to hear from you. Drop us a comment in the description below. What is the last straw that is going to break the camel's back for you if you're considering moving here? Or maybe the answer is never. Maybe you absolutely love living in LA. Either way, we would love to hear from you. And if you're considering the move to Southern Utah, we would love to hear from you even more. We would like to provide you with two complimentary resources. One is our complimentary obligation-free relocation guide. You may find the link to that in the first comment, as well as in the description below this video. And if you're one step ahead of that and you have done some of your homework and you're ready to jump on an obligation-free consultation call with us, it could be a Zoom, it could be a regular phone call. You could jump on our schedule. The Calendarly link is in the description below this video. And in addition to that, if you're still continuing to explore Southern Utah, St. George, Utah, and like to learn more about what this area has to offer, just stick around. YouTube algorithm will suggest a couple more videos from our channel that may be extremely helpful for you. If you found this video helpful, share it with a friend and give it a thumbs up so that the YouTube algorithm could share it with more people.